<laughs> if you got on your desk and blew me, I get inspiration. <laughs> Do it. <laughs> <laughs> we can't ask her out, but we can ask her for a blowjob. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> it's not sexual harassment. Hey. It's just quid pro quo. This, this is just not working out. I'm trying to make it, you know, look bright and fresh or whatever, but something's just not, just not clicking. Do you think you could help me? Uh, well, I can have a look. Yeah, well, I'm sure I can help. I don't see the problems with this. I think it's just, like, I'm not very relaxed. I've got all this tension and stuff, so maybe you could just, like, pop down under the desk. And... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're right. Yeah, pop this in your mouth. You're right. <laughs> <laughs> you're for real? I thought we were friends. What yeah, I mean, it's a friendly flavor. <laughs> I'm, I'm ready. Richard's goofy oh, yeah, smile when he does this stuff is the best. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna fucking report you to the manager, man. I'll tell you what. Just stop talking. This is Richard's true essence. Indeed. It's alright. So yeah, the main thing was I was joking. Disgusting. You're disgusting. This looks fine stop, as it is. Stop, stop, stop talking, please. <laughs> and that was very selfish thinking, wasn't it? Although it would relax you and probably yeah, exactly. make you think more clearly to ask that of a colleague. Just disrespectful, disastrous, and wrong. That is sexual <laughs> harassment. Nah. Punished severely in this life and the next. Jeez. Richard, I know you're our god and all, but I don't know if you actually know that for sure. You just d slapped us down with some divine retribution. <laughs> oh lord, he coming. Babe, go make me some <laughs> Jeez. Make me a sandwich, bitch. <laughs> okay, not the weather, right? No, I don't think so. I think B is right. Yeah. Because if you make like, the workday more enjoyable, you know. Yes, sir. We'll be done. Okay, and let's fix this a little bit. Straighten this up. There you go. Yeah, is that okay. right? Yes, carry That's on. As okay. you were. <laughs> All right. <laughs> okay, sure. <laughs> and uh, increase that font size, plus one. There you go. Done. Anything else? You know, That's, I'm always yeah, open blow me. <laughs> carry on. <laughs> Incorrigible. <laughs> Bring in some playfulness into the workplace. It is always going to be well received. It's going to build a You get like a cat toy, like jingle in the front door. Jingle keys, you like shiny stuff, right? Women, women are attracted to shiny stuff. <laughs> Come on, it's a Ferrari. Hmm. The shamrock. Well, we want to get a one on one with her. Yeah. So maybe just straight up ask her if we want to get dinner. Because if we're. If we're gonna if we're gonna say D, that's like just beating around the bush, you know. Yeah. And then C is a little bit too like let's bang, you know. Yeah, and it. Yeah, definitely. A lets you ease into it because you're not even putting a label on it like dating. Yeah, right. It's like oh, if we hung out. Mm -hmm. Listen, um, eight p.m. Thursday. I've got reservations for this uh, Italian. Place, uh, bistro Cafe oh, Romantico. Okay, I heard yeah. you about it. Romantic Ooh. Cafe. Uh, Epic name for a mm. restaurant. Well, there's me, there's you. I need to come from a different and, uh, country and make the restaurant so I can just name it like the restaurant or something. Like, your biggest the restaurant. Table, table. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and then I was like, oh no, what should I do? Uh, who will I invite? And then I, I did like, you know, random uh, generator thing and it, it was you. So, uh, <laughs> oh yeah, that, I'm a lucky real, real smooth Richard. I don't think this was the right answer. And Mark and okay. all, those, all those cool guys, my friends. But, um, but what about, uh, uh, what, what do you think? what's his name? Mahmoud. Mahmoud, yeah. There was something that I saw this week with somebody named Mahmoud and I was like, oh, that's epic. <laughs> <laughs> yes, but I can't remember what it was now. Was that work? No, I don't think so. You don't see it on that screen, but something just came up, so I can't go. I'm sorry. Can't go? No. It might have been one of the books that I, that I read. It was either Clavin's book or Ben Shapiro's book. They had a character named Mahmoud. No, no, there was some some reference to somebody named Mahmoud. Uh, great night. Of course. Enjoy. At least I think That's it was. That's just the wrong way to get a girl that you like from the workplace out on a date. Way smoother, need to be. Thanks, Richard. What? Want to come over to my place and cook dinner? Well, I, f I feel like C is the next... Oh, I don't know. 
because we want the goal is one on one, and the Shamrock is not one on one. Yeah, if you're gonna go out drinking, I don't know, you might get stuck there and not get any long time. Yeah, exactly. So, so yeah, maybe see is right then. That's a much smoother way of asking, I guess, which is what we're supposed to perceive from that. Instead of, hey, I was wondering, it's just want to come over and bang? I mean, yeah. I don't know. <laughs> sure. Well, Richard, is that product placement on your coffee cup there? Oh, is it, was it uh, the mug club? No. <laughs> Stephen Carter's mug club? Unfortunately not. <laughs> no, it was a Starbucks mug. <gasps> Anyway, um, Richard the Peaker. Wait, did he just call him? He called himself uh, Richard the Peaker. <laughs> oh my. <laughs> um, I like cooking Thai food, different. You yeah, know, that's different cultural stuff. appropriation, so, Richard. Why don't you come to my yeah, house you're not Taiwanese. Maybe you're Indian. <laughs> Indianese. Or maybe no. Just no. Straight up no. I'm sorry, I'm busy. I cannot. Yeah, Epic. What about, what about the day after? No, my schedule is full every day. Oh. For the rest of my life. For the next five years. Uh, <laughs> drop an F in the <laughs> chat, boys. Richard, you're never getting a date. Yeah. You're joking or in five no, years? No, I'm not serious. In five years. <laughs> like, should I? In five years? Yeah. Okay. I'll put in iCal. Well, it'll give me a lot of time to practice my cooking. It should be amazing by then. So, you're in <laughs> More F's in the chat, boys. Very hard in the office, um, and the wrong execution to get a girl around for the old cooking date. Maybe it is the the shamrock thing then. I don't know, because I mean, just asking her doesn't seem right, you know. Yeah. I mean, I because I mean, asking her about dating like that just I don't know. It seems kind of weird to just be like, "Hey, how do you feel about?" Co-workers dating. Yeah, Maybe you and I could date, huh? <laughs> huh? Huh? Yeah, it feels like you're being too coy. You're, you're not being direct enough. Mm -hmm. well, I don't know. I guess. What do we know, Richard? <laughs> hey, listen, uh, me and Teach some of the guys ways. and girls, we're going to the shamrock after work. <laughs> All right. Some of the human the creatures. Yeah, that one, they have uh, pool and darts and ping pong. Pool and darts. Wow. wow. What about it? You want to go? You want to join? Us? I would love, I love, to. I would love throwing to. darts at people so in the pool. <laughs> it's a nice pastime. <laughs> Quite enjoy it. It's my bar mitzvah. Doing well, yeah. Yeah, because the best way to invite a colleague out, especially if you're not sure, is to arrange some kind of group event. So, that's but Richard, we wanted to do a one-on-one. -on -one. That was the goal. That that you're like a, a client so who's like, "Oh, I want this," <laughs> and then you you do that, and then you're like, "Here, this I made this for you," and they're like, "No, I wanted something completely different." You're playing with my heart, Richard. You are tearing me apart, Richard. <laughs> <laughs> you know, just yeah. Nice yeah. Do CrossFit. Yeah. CrossFit is one word. I didn't know that. CrossFit is stupid, and every anybody who believes in it doesn't know science. I don't even know. CrossFit it is. is for yuppie douchebags who have nothing to offer the world but their <laughs> meathead bodies. Yes, <laughs> preach, Richard, preach. <laughs> I'm actually getting super into fitness now and learning more and more about the science behind everything so I can maximize my own efficiency at the gym. So I started doing an upper lower split, so I'm going four days a week now because if you spread out your uh, sets, because you, you should only do like, when you're starting, <laughs> uh, thanks Richard for interrupting my train of thought about my fitness updates here, but like, you just quit. <laughs> <laughs> you do CrossFit? That's it, I'm out. I quit. I can't do it anymore. I can't take it. I can't take it. <laughs> but like, uh, if you spread out your sets, so like you're supposed to do like 10 sets of exercise per body or per muscle group, basically, starting up because there's like, there's a, a, a curve that for the most effective um, way of, or most effective amount of work you're doing per muscle group for you know b building the muscle so once you hit about 10 sets of strenuous activity on that muscle group that's about like when it starts to taper off so anything higher yeah. than that you, you will increase up to about 20 is the maximum and then after that it starts to go down again because you're overworking the muscle so i'm starting since i've been lifting for a few months now i'm doing 12 sets per big muscle group and then you do Fewer sets for smaller muscle groups because they also get worked with the bigger, bigger muscle groups. Like when you're doing chest exercises, it usually involves your triceps. When you're doing a bench press, you use your triceps for that too. So you don't have to work your triceps as much by themselves. 
I see. Also, protein is key. That's all I have to say. Yes. Oh, that's the classic, though. Mm-hmm. You gotta know about the protein. Exactly. That's why you would struggle to build more muscle than me, honestly, just because I eat a lot of meat. Yeah. You eat none, of course. Yeah, yeah. You'd have to, or I'd have to be, like, very, I don't know, very committed and direct with yeah, my diet and indeed. whatnot. You, yeah, you'd need a lot of combined uh, incomplete proteins in order to just ingest protein in order, in order to build it. And then a lot of protein shakes on top of that, too, I would think. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I drink t- two a day, usually. And yeah. That's, that's that's not that much, I guess. If I was, like, a super meathead, it would be, like, <laughs> I, I would drink, like, three times as much, at least. <laughs> Ten protein shakes yeah, a day. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's not... It's probably not horrible if you're just dedicated Mm -hmm. because, you know, they have like those vegan bodybuilders who are huge and stuff. Yeah. Though it's their job too. Yeah. They they have to eat just a shitload of the proteins. Yeah. Proteins. Because even, I mean, just the amount, the volume of food that you need to consume to get the same amount of protein as you would from like a chicken breast using that other stuff, it's just that much more food so yeah though if you're working out maybe you'll be more hungry well that's true yeah yeah i I am more hungry now than i would normally be yeah and i guess i guess i wouldn't have to watch my calories as much as some people maybe because my metabolism is still working pretty good well i guess just because i you kind of have to estimate based for your calories anyways, because you can't really know for sure how many calories you're going to consume in a day. Yeah. So since, you know, you and I are programmers, we sit around all day. <laughs> yeah. So we're not, you know, active in our job. So our caloric consumption is probably in the 2,000-ish calories per day range in order to, you know, maintain the same body weight. Now, when you build muscle, then your caloric requirements go up because, you know, muscles require calories to move and the bigger they are the more calories they require so yeah anyways um i guess that might be partly why i just like running Mm -hmm. (laughs) it's a lot simpler i feel like yeah i just don't have to care about what i eat yeah i lose weight automatically Mm -hmm. (laughs) and all that stuff (laughs) 